they took Clemson behind the woodshed <laughs> and made them say uncle. He's got a touchdown, Ohio State! Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, you have two first-round receivers. You look at what they're bringing back offensively, they will be just fine no matter who's lining up to throw the ball to them. And a diving catch is made! They hit them quick, early, and often with these deep strikes down the field. Four-man rush, Fields has time, launches downfield, it's Olave, he's got a touchdown, Ohio State! A deep strike, and the Buckeyes stretch the lead again, 56 yards, wow! Fields from the pocket, launches downfield, and a diving catch is made! Garrett Wilson got deep and hauled it in, a beautiful adjustment midair, first and goal. Well, Garrett Wilson can do this. He can get downfield. He has such tremendous ball skills. He against Kendrick, one-on-one. -on -one. He gets behind him. Great job off of the play action. Move the safety to the middle. Creates the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And how about the accuracy and the adjustment? Fields has time in the pocket. Delivers downfield. And the catch is made by Olave. It's a first down in Bama territory. Now, I don't know if Ohio State's wide receivers get enough credit on a national level. You know, you, you, often you talk about some of the other receivers, but Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave both bring something a little bit different to the table. Lofted into the end zone, high throw, cut, Wilson, touchdown, Ohio State, still alive. Exactly what they needed. Here's the thing that guys struggle with going from college football to the NFL when it comes to three receivers. Can you get open, right? Like the, getting open in the NFL, it's very less to do with physical and more to do, to do with nuance and subtlety. The ability to change the tempo within your route. He could do that. Can you drop your hips at the top of your route? He can do that. The way that you lean on defenders to help yourself get open. He can do all that stuff. Now he's very physically talented, but it's that subtlety that he plays with. The ability to make contested catches. That's the NFL. That is the NFL now. Like, there, the degree of separation, we talk about all of these guys with the great route running technique. Very rarely do you find yourself wide open in the NFL. So you go. Your point is exactly right, but my goodness, Garrett Wilson. We were just saying <sighs> he's pinned in as a first rounder in next year's mock draft for Todd McShay. They're trying to get Olave involved. That's a, I, like, I don't mind that play call, D.O. Yeah, pre snap, I could, uh, I could see coverages. Uh, I can see where guys gonna be. Uh, I'm on the same page with Justin, so whatever he sees, I see. Uh, definitely on the deep balls, on the flashing balls. Uh, I definitely know when it's coming to me or when it's going to somebody else. Uh, Pre-snap, uh, they if they switch it post-snap, I, I can see that too. So. We tell them that there's nothing guaranteed. You're going to compete at the highest level. If you can make it Ohio State, you can make it anywhere. And and guys who are highly competitive, that's what they want. They want it hard. Chris Olave had an opportunity to go into the NFL draft and um, you know did some great things for us last year. Had some big catches for us and excited to see what he does for us uh, this season. Back to work. First and ten on play action. He's going to take a shot down the sideline. Drops it in with a flag down. Olave's got a touchdown. And play outside the pocket. Hands on a rollout. Flips one down the sideline. Garrett Wilson at the goal line and in for a touchdown. He's going to run a real wheel route up the sideline. Snap it down. Find that little soft spot over that flat defender in front of that corner and then have the ability to finish. I love that little play design, getting him outside the pocket. I love the throw from Justin Fields. Garrett Wilson. A guy that has taken a huge step forward for this offense. He carries the football. Here it's off with a play fake to Sermon for the end zone and hold in by Chris Olave. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Fields releases for the back of the end zone. What a throw, and Garrett Wilson brings it in over the shoulder. Off the play fake, Fields winds up looking for Olave, and he's got him again. His, his route running just continues to get better. His competitive edge, he's dangerous in the seams. Yards after the catch, he can get downfield. He can do so many different things in this offense. And Fields fakes the give to Teague. He's looking that direction. And it is caught inside the 10-yard line by Garrett Wilson. 
And it's an end around handoff to Garrett Wilson who slips a tackle and is off and running. Wilson in a foot race. Can they angle him out? Cuts back. Still alive and knocked down at the Penn State 13 by Joey Porter. An electric opening play on the end around 62 yards. Boy, all that pre-snap movement so important to eventually get this freed up. You see Garrett Wilson moving. Watch the block right there. By, it looked like Olave made a nice block on the safety. See the reads and find the open receiver. Second and three, pump fake, and a long downfield throw, jump ball, catch made, touchdown, Olave! And Ohio State goes two touchdowns up. They, they leave Joey Porter on an island against Olave. People wondered if he would play. Pretty good coverage, outstanding football, and the catch, the concentration by Olave to get the left foot down, have possession of the ball, and have the touchdown. What an incredible effort and a great throw by Justin Fields. That left foot touched first before the right foot came down, so that's a touchdown. Fields had time and protection broke down late, but he delivers a downfield strike to Garrett Wilson. Fields looking to throw. Drops back, delivers over the middle, and it's a first down and goal to Olave. Fourth and one. Fields, pump fakes, wants to take it downfield. Shot, that's Olave. Finger tip catch, touchdown. The second connection from number one to number two, and Ohio State stretches the lead again. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.